It's reading month at the Lyle Torn Center, and I'm here with Rochelle Van Bogelen, teacher, who has once again invited us to read to the kids. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to have you back. Yeah, and it's been so long that you've had two kids since I <laughs> last was here. Yep, I have a uh, two-year-old and a four-year-old. All right, so there's Brody. Yes, and Everly. Awesome. Well, that must um, keep you really busy. They do. Yeah. Very busy. <laughs> well, we love coming to... Uh, Torrance Center for Reading Month. Tell me a little bit about uh, the class that you have here. Um, so this classroom, this is our youngest SXI room, which is severely and multiply impaired. Um, and they, our students join us when they turn three and they stay till they're about six or seven and then they usually um, either move up to the next SXI room or hopefully um, push out to some, some of our leveled rooms. Well, you must get, with having the kids that long, you must get really attached to these little ones. We do, and we get to know them and their families, and it's, um, it's really nice. Well, you've got the perfect personality <laughs> and the disposition for being a teacher here. You've, uh, I've heard great things about you, and the families love you. Thank you. Now, Rochelle and I used to be in a workout class together, and after I've seen you working here, I, I don't think you need to go to a workout <laughs> class. <laughs> We're definitely very busy. We have a lot of help, and that includes volunteers. And Kevin is one of your volunteers, and you know Kevin? Yes, we, yes, Kevin is a huge, huge help to us. All right, Kevin, so I met you as I arrived here because I, I would say you're the welcoming committee. Yes, I am. I've been volunteering here over 20 plus years. I'm Jack for All Trades. I'm help with busing wherever they need me, house DJ for our dance in the gym on Thursday, the Rock Out Reading Month, and we just have an awesome time here at the La Torre Center. Why do you like to be a volunteer here? It's, I, just, I just love it to be here, just to get myself out of the house, and because it's being born at the house all day long. Kids love you too, don't they? Awesome. They love me. I see a big smile on their face, and that makes me feel good. And I heard that uh, Kevin uh, likes TV and one show in particular. Yep, and that's your show, Bart. All right. Well, I appreciate that. You tune in every day, I hope? Absolutely. I even have a VCR. I can record it. Oh, awesome. All right, so we're going to read uh, a couple of books. What have you picked out for us? Um, so we have The Pout Pout Fish and Silly Sally. Oh, man, two of my favorites. I can't wait. Well, Rochelle, thanks for inviting us. Kevin, thanks for inviting us. We're always uh, looking forward to reading month at the Torrance Center. Thank you. All right, let's get to those books. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Here's that pouty fish. Pouty fish. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Ah, uh, what a pouty fish. And the fish is blue. Pouty fish is blue. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, 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 Addie, Ella. <laughs> all right. Along comes a jellyfish, he floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scally scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. The jellyfish, jellyfish, jellyfish sounds like it'd be good to eat, but I don't think so. No, no, 
Hmm. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary worries all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. Um, we're moving on to, oh, here he is again. I am a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary worries all over the place. Blob. Blob, blob. <coughs> Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. You hulky, bulky, sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend, Mr. Eight. My chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. Mm, pout, pout, fish. There he is. Pout, 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 pout. Uh, what's next? Let's find out what's next. <gasps> I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary worries all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> now, along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, is that silver, is that silver fish? And instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Ella, look. The fish is kissing. The fish is kissing. <laughs> I didn't know fish kissed. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. Pouty, pouty fish, not pouty. Not pouty. Not pouty at all. I'm a kiss, kiss fish with a kiss, kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. There's a kiss, kiss, fish, fish, kiss, kiss, kiss. Well, that's a nice fish. So I'll smooch, I'll smooch, I'll smooch, I'll smooch, I'll smooch, 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 smooch. One big last smooch. Nice. The end.